Uvu. Clutch this, Uvu. Come on, Uvu. Come on, Uvu. Clutch. Put a clutch. Put a clutch. Put a clutch. Put a clutch. No. 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 Ooh. For the clutch. For the clutch. Hey, what's up? Welcome to episode four of my Pokemon Radical Red Hardcore Mode Adventure. In the last episode, I finally beat Buff Boy Sammy after he beat my ass like nearly three times. And I finally made it up to Pewter City, where I was impeded once again by not a bug boy, but a trainer named Faulkner, a bird type trainer. And let me tell you, his team is pretty tough, especially the annoying ass Yanma. <laughs> so I changed at least one Pokemon from last episode. I got a Ponyta, a Galarian Ponyta. My thinking is I will use him against his Farfetch'd or maybe his Yanma because he can hit Farfetch super effectively with his Fairy moves and he can hit Yanma super effectively with his Fire moves. But again, that's just in theory because this game, the developers, yeah, they on some shit. <laughs> they made it in a way where you think going a full team of rock types or electric types is going to net you the win, but no. Each of these teams have types that are counters to that and they have move sets that can counter their weaknesses it's really cool really annoying but again one of the the main points of playing this pokemon game is i wanted a challenge and this game has definitely delivered i am totally in love with this game i highly recommend it and like i said before i am not going to edit out my losses i think that's a huge part of my journey and my growth i am obviously not the best pokemon trainer i mean i'm sure many of you are probably cringing at some of the moves i make or the choices i make in pokemon but i i, I just want to experience it my way you know i just want to play the game and and have fun and and have a challenge at it too so hope you guys hope you guys enjoy me enjoy these episodes and stick around so here we go i'm gonna challenge Faulkner for the third time. Hopefully I start this episode with a win. I'm not sure, but let's see. <laughs> let's see. So I'm going to start off with right, with Rain. Hopefully Rain kicks some ass. Then he's going to summon Molga. Who am I going to summon against him? Molga. I mean, Molga knows a super effective ground move. Um, super effective ice move, I think. Ice move or ground move? I'm not sure, but a, a super effective move against this guy. My Alolan, well, Galarian, I think. Galarian Geodude. Yeah. So I don't know what Pokemon I'm going to use against Morga. Flying Electric. I think I'm going to use my Tiana against him. I'm going to let Ryan die. If Ryan, if all goes well and Ryan is able to beat Trombeak without getting a critical hit against him because last time well the first time he got a critical hit if he can survive and beat Trombeak then I will let him die and then send out my Tiana to kill out Imolga then I'll probably use Ponyta or Cricketune against Yanma or maybe even my Geodude and then for his Farfetch'd I'm thinking Ponyta and Marl since they both hit it super effectively but we'll see Again, the game throws you a lot of curveballs, so you never know. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Rain. Use Growl. The thing is, it knows a flying move, but it doesn't use it. That's confusing me. Oh, 
I have really high hopes for Spiro later on when it evolves into Hero. Ooh, that'll be amazing. It's a lot. Pluck, right? Why didn't he use pluck in the beginning? It could steal the berry. Hmm. Morga. Right. I'll use Growl. Doesn't make a difference, I'll just die anyway. You did well, Reed, you did well. Good job. You beat his Trombeak. Okay. Tiana. I'll use bite first and then I'll use yeah, I'll use sucker punch <sighs> critical hit of course Sucker Punch. Nice. Nice. Okay, Jan Manex. Far fetched. It's gonna use a fighting move on far fetched. What do I do? What do I do? I didn't expect him to come out this early. What do I do? Turn on Ponyta and use Will O Wisp. Use Will O Wisp, right? Fish for a Will O Wisp. I'll give it a shot. Oh, send out Cricket too. Nah, Ponyta. Will Lewis, please. Yes. Nice. Nice. What? I was cut. Wait, cut is a is a um, blade move, is it? So if it has blade master, it's boosted by cut. Cut on um, blade master boost cut. He withdrew. Rufflet. Continue to use Covet. Out of there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is going well so far. <laughs> this is going well so far. Flame wheel. Ooh. Jesus, Lord. What? No, he's gonna use his speed up. Flame wheel. Damn it. Nothing I can do. Thank God he didn't get a, uh, a stat boost. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank God he didn't get a stat boost. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have been just awful. Use Aqua Jet. You done know. I've won this. I've won this finally. See? I've won this man. Now I'll use covet. Oh yes it is. And you're gonna lose. Covet. Aqua Jet. Nice. Thank you. Woo! Well done. Yes, 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 yes. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I did it. Guys, I did it. Got $2,000 for it. Nice. Nice. I'll take that because I was, 
Your boy was getting poor. <laughs> Your boy was getting poor. <laughs> Who's okay? I'll take it. Ooh, yes, yes. Lost only about let me see two Pokemon. Didn't even use this one. Didn't use this one. Well, didn't use this one. <sighs> it feels good. I feel good. What did he say? July 20th, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. Oh, did they now? Did they really set foot on the moon? Mm-hmm. Did they really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> did they really now? Really? Neil Armstrong himself said, I think in an interview, that uh, it was fake, right? And if you know anything about space, you know that there is a... The Van, Al the Van Allen belt is a, a zone of radiation. And to get past that, you need specific equipment that I don't think they had during the 1960s. So how were they able to pass through the, that radiation without dying and come back unscathed? Huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, that's for the video. That's for the video. I have some thoughts on that, man. Anyway, let's go and fight Brock now. <sighs> if Faulkner was this annoying, imagine Brock being the gym leader is going to be a bitch. He's going to be a bitch, let's be real. But I have no idea what Pokemon is going to have. And that's the beauty of this. That's what makes it exciting. I'm going to switch out some Pokemon. I'm going to bring back in my Ivysaur. Switch out Krikatoon. I'm going to bring back in my Meditite. Switch out Geodude. And I'm gonna bring in Mister and switch out Ponyta. You've been good, but I'm gonna be much help. And I'm gonna bring in my Skiploon, Super. How do you take the item away to withdraw? I'm gonna take this, thank you. I'm gonna give it to Marrow. So I think I'm gonna need Marrow for this. Marrow's power will be invaluable for this battle, of course. Of course, dog, of course. <laughs> Why did I switch? Alright, let's go fight Brock. Hello. Yep, it is. Okay. Accuracy reducing moves and evasion raising effects have been removed from this game. Good. I think those, they're cheesy anyway. Baton passes removed from this game. Good. Sleep clause is in effect. And only one Pokemon per team can be put to sleep at a time. Okay. Moves are removed from the game. Oh, like, like, um, horn drill and stuff like that? Okay, the bag is inaccessible during boss battles. Good. There is a soft level cap before each boss. Good. I know this already. Pokemon will disobey when level too far above the level cap. Alright. Consumable health items come back after training your battles. Nice. Battle style is forced to set. You cannot thief items from trainers. 
he might have revealed to fall in most boss battles to prevent certain exploits. Like what? Oh, like when Pokemon are like half HP and stuff. I don't know what 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 exploit can you use on him? Not full HP. Okay, who beat this? <sighs> Gary, of course. Of course, Gary. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I'm. Oh no, no, I'm not. I'm right here. I'm right here, bitch. Come on, what you got? Holy coolie. Isn't that? Oh, it's full rock. Aqua jet. Out of there. Drillbur. Do I want a drillbur? I don't think so. He's cool and all, but I'm not really a fan of Excadrill. I mean, he's powerful, but I'm not really a fan of Excadrill. He's really great in Sandstorm teams when he has Sand Rush, because it boosts his speed. All right, who's my first Pokemon against Brock? I'm gonna lead with. Should I lead with this guy? Or should I leave with Ivysaur? Ruvru or Mista? Which one? Or Maro? I think I'll go with Mista. Right? Good? Yes. I think I'll do that. Alright guys, this is it. We've been training and fighting to get to this point. Finally, we're at Brock <laughs> after like the fourth episode. <laughs> I know in some series, they get to him like in the first, first fucking episode, but I want to show the adventure raw as it is. So here we go. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock type. For ha 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 ha. You're going to challenge me knowing that you lose. That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Not really. <laughs> just, just want to beat you and move on, boy. Fine then. Show me your best. All right, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. The music. Oh, God, I love this music so much. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Hippopotas. I wasn't planning on seeing this. Return. You can use a ground move on me. Oh, or you probably use yawn. Oh, what do I do? Remember his the Sandstream is permanent, so it's going to be permanent sandstorm that boosts the defense of rock types, I think. It boosts their special defense. I think rock and ground, I'm not sure. Oh. What should I do? It's gonna use a ground move on me. Oh, he's a setup type Pokemon. Magical Leaf. Ooh, almost. Berry juice. Oh, what now? Archen. It's 
It's gonna use a flying move on me. Definitely gonna use a flying move on me, but I, what do I do? I don't think I have anything fast enough to hit it. Go. It'll slow it down if it hits me with a flying move. Right. Whoa, that hit hard. I should be faster than it now. Throw. Oh shit! I forgot it's a it's a freaking um, rock type. I could have used shit. I should have used metal claw. I wasn't thinking. I forgot. Hmm. It's slow now. I can probably. One shot it. Go Marrow. Aqua Jet. What? A leap. Oh shit. Hmm. Hmm. The leap is a, I think, a grass rock type. So it'll be weak against grass rock. It'll use a grass move on me. Go, Ruvu. I think sludge will work on it. Yes, it's a grass. It did nothing. <laughs> I don't really know its weakness. My best Pokemon is gone. Pick out. Force palm. They all have berry juice. It's gonna use spit up or it's annoying as hell. At least paralyze it. At least paralyze it, please. Ooh. Yes! <laughs> Out of there, man. I only lost one Pokemon. Probably gonna send back out Archon. Archon. Yep, that bitch. And it's fast too. Let's 
There's a flying move on me. I have nothing to counter that. I have nothing to counter that. What do I do? Um, hmm. Do I keep him in? It's going to use a fly move on me. If I sell up my Tiana, we'll get a free hit on my Tiana. My Tiana can take out one Pokemon by himself. I don't know what to do. Marl is strong against his team in general. Hmm. Archops is annoying, man. It's super fast and it learns defeat us, though. I have nothing. What do I do? Rock Tomb was super effective against it. But it's gonna kill me with a flying move. I know it. It's gonna use a flying move, so what do I do for that? My Tiana? Should I sell out my Tiana? No choice. I have to take the L on him. Rock Tomb. Yeah, I can't. Oh shit. Go, my Tiana. bite I don't mean shit bite it defeat it should kick in right it does not defeat it sucker punch A dark grass type. I have nothing against that. Let me roll you out. Oh, raw makes you go last. Shit, raw makes you go last. I should be faster than it. I not realize that. Raw makes you go last. That is dumb. <laughs> and Sleep powder won't work on it, would it? No, it won't. Fairy wind would. I use fairy wind. How's it faster than me? Having a grass type in a rock team and it being a cacnea to thematically blend in with the sandstorm is really, really cool idea. Well done. <laughs> I've lost, haven't I? Yeah. It seems as though most of these battles will be a first loss. You go back, reevaluate your team, and come back again and try again. <laughs> I wonder I wonder up to what point. Will that continue to happen until I'm strong enough to beat them in one go? Right? Wouldn't you want to see that yourself? Well, if you want, stick around and watch the episodes. <laughs> oh, shameless plug. Thunder Punch. Yeah, I'm dead. I have nothing against him. And it's super fast, too. It's faster than mine. And super. Super is like 
really fast. I'll use Covet. Well, let's see, of course. Yeah. All right. Okay, beat me fair and square. All right. So his auction is a problem. It's fast and it hits hard. Okay, so what do I do now? I think I'm gonna capture three more Pokemon and level them up. So yeah, with that, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? So while I was away, I caught a Pancham. Mostly because it's a fighting type, which is good against Brock's team, but also because it has the ability Iron Fist, and that pairs very nicely with Arm Trust. Now, Arm Trust has a base power of 25, but boosted with Iron Fist in this game, it's about 30%. So if it hits twice, that's going to be a 65% base power Iron Arm, arm Thrust which is about the same amount as a regular karate chop with the possibility of hitting five times. That means that Pancham, if he gets to hit more than twice, he'll be dealing a lot of damage, a shit ton of damage. He also has bite, which is good, and bullet punch for priority against those, you know, little fuckers that just won't die. <laughs> That are on a sliver of HP just, but just won't die. Right, he's good against that. Overall, I'm proud with him. I also added Quicker Tune, which will be good against his uh, Cacturn. Cacnea, I mean, sorry. I have Mightyena for the damage. Omino, because he's a fighting type. Maril, of course, just amazing all around. And I have, of course, Voo Voo. So, with that, I think I'm ready to challenge Brock. Let's try again, and this time, hopefully, we can snag a win. Not sure, but we'll see. All right, let's do this. He's going to send out Hippopotas first. Of course, Sandstream, so you can raise his rock type's defense by 50%. Always lose by a little bit. It's gonna set up Stealth Rock. What can I do to make him? If I'd had um uh, a nature, a good nature, it'd have probably died in one hit. Perfect time to send out Pancham. Go, Nias. Arm thrust. Oh, Archen. Lunatone. What? Hit more than... No, there's a Lunatone. Why? <laughs> I cannot fight that. I need a psychic move on me. Yeah. Go, my Tiana. I don't know if they boosted Lunatone in this game. Perfect. I am so scared to use Bite because I know his Pokemon are always faster than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, should I just use... Yeah, Sucker Punch at this level should kill it. Perfect. Out of there. Yes. Whew, yes. 
It's a very powerful Pokemon that just went down. I could feel it in my bones. <laughs> Gagnia, return. Cricketoon. Go Cricketoon. Oh, that hurt. Stop. Stop. Why did it hit me so hard? Very cut up. It has nothing. Kill it. No, it lives. <sighs> I think I'll use my Tiana. Suck a punch. Nice. Out of there. He still has Archendo. Right. Hmm. What do I do? It's gonna use some fuckery, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Archen is a problem. Probably keep my Tiana in. Sucker punch. Oh my god. Sucker punch. It's okay. Go, Maro. No fuckery. Aqua Jet. Oh, Lily. Yes. Fucker. This bitch. <laughs> I gotta get rid of this Lily, man. Return. I'm sure it's going to be faster than me. For some fucking reason, it's going to be faster than me. Arm trust. Oh, it's not. Okay. Please hit more than twice. Please, RNG gods. No. Oh. Yes. Two more times. Yes. One more time. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Please hit more than twice. No. Oh. Will fake out work? A little bit of damage. Hey, hey, it might help. It might help, you never know. You never know. Force palm. Die. Yes. Oh. Holy shit. Triple 
Pokémon left. Big time. Gonna use a flying move on me. Go, Marl. Please survive, Marl. That move is so annoying. Aqua Jet. That should kill it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, die, you fucker. I hate that Pokemon. Okay, he has a weak Hippopotas and one Pokemon left. Probably an Onyx, I'm sure. Will Aqua Jet work? Aqua Jet. Yes, Marrow. Yes. One more Pokemon left. And I still have three Pokemon. One more. One more. Please survive, Marrow. Oh. One more. Sand true. No, Brock. I'm sorry. You're done. Aqua Jet. Oh, no, it's Aerial Ace. Gotta watch out for that. It doesn't have the berry. Ruvu. Clutch just Ruvu. Come on, Ruvu. Come on, Ruvu. Clutch. Put a clutch. Put a clutch. Put a clutch. Magical Leaf. No. 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 Ooh. For the clutch. For the clutch. Magical Leaf. Magical Leaf. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Yes! 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 Oh, yes! We did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we did it! Yes! Yes! Oh! Hear that music. Hear that music. Let's go! We did it! <laughs> we did it! We beat his ass. Fuck you, bro. We did it. We did it. Oh. Ah. I'm sweating. <laughs> I am sweating. My back is sweating. My arms are sweating. Whew. I need a bath after this. <laughs> oh, last Lord Jesus. Yes. Oh, I did it. Ah. Oh, well, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, with that, I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I am, I'm hungry. I'm sweating. <laughs> I feel like I ran a marathon. But, yeah, that was an amazing battle. My Pokemon came through. I still had two Pokemon left. What an amazing battle, yeah. This game, this game is just amazing, man. Shout out to the developers. You guys are incredible. This game is really fun. I am so looking forward to my journey in this game. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you stay tuned for the next episodes because it's going to be lit. It's going to be amazing. Until next time, guys, have a blessed day. Bye.